Hey everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Enchanted Channel. Today, what we're doing is I picked five random people today. I posted on Facebook that the people that I was drawn to, if they wanted a little mini reading for free. So I got a lot of responses, so I picked five people. And I'm going to be reading for five people today. So I picked the ones I was that I was drawn to. So, yeah. All right, let's get started. The first one's going to be for Ash Bridell. This is going to be for you, Ash Bridell. It's going to be a mini reading. It's not going to be a big one. So I'm going to pick a couple of cards. Just to see what's going on. All right. I'll pick three cards. Two and one more. Three. Oops. <laughs> okay. And they're all going to be general readings. Nothing specific. All right. The first card we got is Nine of Swords. Ooh. Ash, something is keeping you up at night for some odd reason. You're kind of stressed out. You know, when it's time for you to go to sleep and everything, you have all these things running through your head. So my advice for you is try to, you know, relax a little bit and not think so much when it's time to go to bed. That way you can get some sleep and your anxiety won't be so high. All right. The second card you got is Queen of Swords. Well, you're that type of person who gets to the heart of the matter, who sticks to her guns, who doesn't take any bull crap, and you're a leader. So that's good. And your last card is Ten of Cups. But you're very family oriented. You know, you're family secure. You have a lot of friends, a lot of friendships, and, you know, and you're just happy. <laughs> so that's always good, right? All right, I'm going to pick you one oracle card just to see what it has to say. All right. And your oracle card is confidence. It comes with time and practice. So it's just telling you to be a little bit more, you know, confident in your life. And it does take, like it says, it does take a little time and a little practice. So just look in the mirror and just say, I am confident. So, yeah. So this is yours, Ash. I hope you enjoyed it. So we're going to be moving on to the second one. Let's put this card over here. Okay, and the second one I picked was Delilah Busid. I think it is. I don't know. She can correct, you know, she can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's move this over here. It's trying to get in my way. Shuffle them up really good. All right, let's pick three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what's going on in your life, Delilah. All right, we have, ooh, the lovers, the tower, and six of wands. Hmm. All right. The lovers is just saying that, you know, right now you're in a relationship or it could be just a friendship right now. Doesn't have to be either or that things are pretty much going good, but it's also telling you on another hand, watch out because things can come tumbling down. But the good thing with that is if you do have any problems or anything, you can work on it and you can build up from it. You know, sometimes we have things that, you know, 
shake things up a bit just to make them even better. So remember that. And then Six of Wands tells me that whatever it is, you will, you know, you will win over it. Because the Six of Wands is victory, so that's not bad. All right, let's pull you an Oracle card. See what the Oracle has to tell you. All right. And sundress. Do it for you. It's basically just telling you to do things for yourself. You know, don't you don't have to do it for others. If you want something or if you want to do something, you know, do it for yourself. Don't try to please everybody else. Just try to please yourself. You know, sometimes we have to. You can't always be about other people. All right, I hope you enjoy this, Delilah. I'm going to be moving on to the next person. And that one is Sissy Stamper Rink. So let's get yours situated, Sissy. Shuffle them up really good. If you hear noise up there, sorry, I got a noisy neighbor. <laughs> Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. And no matter where I go in the house, you know, if you still hear it. All right. Let's pick some three cards. And see what yours is all about. All right. We have nine of wands. Eight of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Ooh. All right, Nine of Wands is basically telling you that, you know, sometimes you need to take a break from things and just uh, figure out what you want to do to move forward because you just need it in life sometimes. You know, you just need to just take a step back and figure out what you want to do. So that's what it's telling you right now, sissy. All right, Eight of Pentacles is just saying that you're that type of person who basically when you have like a hobby or a job, you put your whole heart and soul in it and you get, I know you really get into your work, put it that way. <laughs> so that's you. And then we have Queen of Wands. It's basically just saying that you're a very passionate person who, you know, enjoys her hobbies, whether it's at work or whatever, but you do enjoy things like that. And all, you're also a leader. So yeah, a very passionate one at that. All right. Let's see what your Oracle has to tell you. All right. And we got expectations don't seek anyone's approvals so this is just telling you that you don't have to seek anyone's approval or anything you know if you have any expectations or whatever all you need is your approval <laughs> you don't have to have people to approve the things that you want to do and everything you know it's you you know you're the ones with the expectations and you know just follow through on them and everything all right, I hope you enjoyed this, Sissy. Pretty good reading. Nothing bad. Okay, and now we move on to Lisa Howard. Oh, it's so warm in my room right now. And I can't put the window open because there's a lot of people outside. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do we have for Lisa? One more card. I'm seeing this one right here. Alrighty. Lisa, you have three of swords, two of cups, justice. Hmm. Well, what I'm seeing right now is for some reason you're having some kind of heartbreak. It could be like a relationship that you're having problems with and everything. 
you know, maybe you, you both ain't seen eye to eye right now, but you do have the justice card and the justice card is telling me that it could be either two things. One, you have to learn things from each other to figure out how to make it work. Or it could be some kind of legal things that's getting in the way with you guys. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what the Oracle has to tell you. Maybe it can tell you a little bit more. All right. What do you have to tell Lisa? All right. Sword. Make the change. Well, it says whatever the case that is happening in your relationship or everything, you have to make the change. So if you have to cut something out or if you have to do something very drastic that would change the situation or anything, it's just basically telling you make that change. Do it. All right. Now we move on to the last person. Hope you enjoy this, Lisa. And the last person is Maria Robbins. All right. What's going on in Maria Robbins' life? What do you have to tell her? All right. One more card. Let's see. There we go. All right, we have the Empress, Knight of Cups, and the Magician. Ooh, this is like a very variety situation. All right, you're a very nurturing person, and you like to help people out who have, you know, I'm not saying like a lot of problems or anything, but you're over there helping them out in a time of need. You're like, let's say, that shoulder to cry on a cry on and everything so that's always good and you're always in control of situations and you also like to conjure things up because you have the magician so that's always cool so that's good nurturing helping people out and in control of your situations all right let's see what the oracle has to tell you What do you have to tell Maria? All right, we have Mira. Treat your body like the palace it is. That's what you got. <laughs> it's like treat yourself, you know? Be that person who loves the way she is, you know? Just enjoy yourself. Be who you are. Because, girl, you got it going. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got it going on, girl. <sighs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, I'll be doing this every so often, you know, picking random people, maybe once a month or so. I'll try to keep up with it. You know, give people some free readings. Why not? You know. All right, guys. I hope you had fun. I'll talk to you maybe in a couple of days. All right. Mwah. See you later. Keep smiling, guys.